Hello everyone, we're going to see how to create a 3D map overlay for your GoPro videos. We will do so with Google Earth Pro, some GoPro footage, the telemetry extractor and some video editing software. You can find all the links in the description. First of all, we will import the GoPro footage into the telemetry extractor. I'm using the premium version here because it's faster and it allows you to merge multiple videos, but you can do this with the free one too. From here we will select the GPS data. If your file does not contain it, you might have to record again with better conditions for the GPS antenna. See the video description for more help. We can use the view map function to visualize our GPS data. There are many more things you can do with the telemetry extractor, so make sure you check out the other tutorials on my channel. If your GPS path has problems, you might be able to fix them by tweaking the GPS fix and GPS precision values. A higher value means more tolerance for errors, but around 6 or 500 is usually fine. Then we will export the data to GPX, which is compatible with Google Earth. And back in Google Earth, let's import the file. Make sure you allow every file extension in the dialog so that you can see the GPX file. Unless your footage is from a drone or an airplane or anything that flies, select Adjust Altitudes to Ground Height. And these will already show us the GPS path on Google Earth. I like to disable every information layer except for terrain and 3D buildings. And if we open the new track, we can play it and see the default behavior. Which looks fine, but let's tweak it to make it look even better. In some regions, 3D buildings will not be available, which substantially changes the look of the map, but you can still get good results. And if you wanted a flat map, you could disable the terrain option. But let's take advantage of both. We will now tweak the track settings to make the path stand out. Let's make the line thicker and darker and increase the arrow size. We will also tweak the tour settings. First, set the speed to 1 so that it can be synced with the video footage. Then, increase the quality and let's try to make an almost vertical video top down and increase the camera range to see more of the map at the same time. I like to delete the track name too. And now we can play it back again. Use the bottom slider to control the playback. I like how this looks, so let's right click on the track and generate a tour. A record button will show up and we can play the track now but we will only start the recording once the path has completely rewind. You can tell by the camera movement or by the slider on top. It doesn't matter if you don't nail this exactly. You can tweak the synchronization in the final steps. So now that this is recording, I will fast forward the process. And I like to double click the track or the GPS device to get a general view at the end. So we can now stop the recording and save it. Close the tour and we're ready to use the Movie Maker tool. Make sure you are recording the most recent tour. Choose a destination folder and name. Set the resolution you want. I will choose Full HD because I want to be able to display this full screen. And I want to edit my project at 25 frames per second. I will save this as MPEG-4, there I suggest you set the quality to maximum and let's record it. This can be quite a long process, so let's skip it. We're now done with Google Earth, you can save the changes if you want, and I will personally use Adobe Premiere to merge the footage with the 3D map. But you could use pretty much any video editing software, for example DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro, etc. Let's import both files and create a new sequence based on our footage. I will place the 3D map on top of it and rescale it and position it to my liking. Now let's review some corners to double check synchronicity. It looks fine to me, but if it wasn't, you could always offset the 3D map layer. 
So without further ado, let's export this to a file. Let's spare you the rendering. And this is how the final result looks. I have spent some more time enhancing this footage. For example, adding additional telemetry overlays in After Effects. You can see my other tutorial on how to create these metrics. Things like speed, altitude, acceleration, distance, rotation, course direction, or camera settings. If you've got a DJI drone, like the Mavic, Phantom, or Inspire series, I have tools to do similar things with them. So check them out if you're interested. And I'm also working on tools to create this kind of telemetry overlay for any camera. Let me know if you've got doubts or if you'd like to see something different. I'm happy to help. So thanks for watching and see you next time.